Hey everyone and welcome back to our series of stoichiometry. Now we're going to do a more complicated example about moles and molar mass and let's get the two together. Now, let's see. So the question reads as follows. Calculate the number of moles of NaCl in 175.5 grams of that salt. So basically we have a salt that weighs 175.5 grams and we want to find the number of moles of NaCl in that. Well, the first step we're going to do is calculate the molar mass of NaCl. Now, as we learned in the previous video, how we're going to do that? Well, sodium, we only have one sodium. So, we go back to our periodic table and we find atomic mass, which is 22.9 and we only have one so 22.9 now cl we only have one cl so we go back to our periodic table and check for the atomic mass and that's gonna be 35.45 and we only have one so we get 35.45 now we add these up we get 58.45 gram per mole now the next step we're going to do is use this relation and this relation is going to become your best friend. Now the number of moles which we denote by n is equal to the molar mass which is, sorry not the molar mass, it's equal to the mass which is small m over the molar mass which is big M. Now, let's see. So the number of moles will be equal to the mass, which, we, which was given in the question, 175.5 grams, over the molar mass, which is 58.45 gram per mole. You see here, the units cancel, gram with the gram, and we're left with... 3.003 moles of NaCl. So that's that for this video. I just wanted to go over a more complicated example and how will we relate moles and molar mass together. Now the most important thing in this video is this relation. So the number of moles which we denote by n is equal to the mass which is small m over the molar mass which is big M. So stay tuned in the next video we're going to talk more about stoichiometry. So good luck and thanks for watching.